Oh, do the yeah. card yeah. to spend in there. I don't mind. Oh, your gift card. You mean yeah. just taking your credit card and doing Yeah, it. just go in there and get it. Come to the... Come. <laughs> I saw them as I said, I might just... Come on, get done. prepared anything. <laughs> I did it on the bus on the way in. Um, <laughs> I could probably, possibly Lee's oldest friend in it, in terms of knowing him longest maybe. Fourth oldest. Fourth? Oh. You used to say oldest. <laughs> Steve has the, uh, the, the oldest oldest obviously. <laughs> they, they don't get me involved. <laughs> don't get me involved. No, um, well, Obviously, you've heard plenty of Lee's stories. Well, God knows I have. I went a bit Woody Allen then. God knows. Um, so he's done. He's done all right with the late with the ladies. I mean, he went through a succession of lunatic Scots. <laughs> after after, after realising that wasn't a good idea, he went for the safe bet of Essex. It's just easy. Yeah, it's, it's easy. <laughs> it is easy. It is easy. But, but um, she's good. She's good for him. She's done. She's settled him down. He's a lot chilled out since meeting her. Oh yeah. You should have known him before, love. Honestly. Jesus Christ. He went mental on me because I refused to dig up all my grass. You never look after it. Why don't you rip it up? Anyway. <laughs> Anyway, anyway, he's been a good, he's been a good friend, one of my best, and uh, I'm glad to see him happy. He loves it here, all the work he has to do. <laughs> Every time I speak to him, honestly, it's like all his Christmas is coming. <laughs> but I'm sure he's happy man now, and uh, yeah, and I think the world of him. And uh, good luck to all of you, and uh, you deserve it. Mr. Morgan. Come on. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. Did you have a nice night last night? No, I don't want to be videoed. All right then. Have you? What did you have a nice... What did you... What was your highlight? You're not talking to me. You're talking to the world. I like... I like... The lighting Oh yeah, you summoned up the power of the Kemp. Yeah. Didn't you? The next, next round. 
Oh, she was good. She was Salma Hayek. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> when everybody turned into vampires and got hit to a grass by the bright light. I've got a video of you as a vampire. <laughs> and I was the only one left, and I was a hero. Of the whole Goes out saying, isn't it? Video. Yeah. <laughs> Did you have a nice night last night, Madeline? Why was you so loud and all over the, and drunk? What happened there? Yeah, no, I was just going to show you. Half a line. Half a line. Look at that. Half a line. Mm. <laughs> Which one, please? That one. Yeah, that one. Yeah. No. Both of them. No, no, no. Oh. Mm. No. <laughs> Shall I get him? I've been for about four years, and during that time, I found out a few things about him. One, he's a pussy bugger. Two, he's a wind up merchant. Three, he's got very good taste. Otherwise, he wouldn't have chosen me for a father in law. And it came, it came as a great surprise when they came back from America and said they got married. So, congratulations to the both of you. Now, um, tradition does dictate that the groom should now come up and um, say a few words as well. So, um, you know, you need to say things like how beautiful your bride looks this evening. <laughs> Oh, I don't know what you're talking about. I never got married. Now I don't know what you're doing here. <laughs> well, um, actually, it's about ten years, Donny. That we've known each other. Not four. You've been pissed smoking your pipe out for the rest of it. What's in the pipe? Uh, it's uh, lovely to see you all here. Wonderful to be married to Virginia. I think this party planning to one side, it's been good. <laughs> <laughs> and it's great to see you all here, and it's Hooray! stucky. <laughs> 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 Have you got anything to say? That's a new talk. Come on, coward. Come on, coward. I don't know what to say. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure he'll be back. What you do you don't know what to say. <laughs> Uh, obviously, the, uh, obviously, his beautiful daughter doesn't take half for himself without having very much to say. Um, we were in couples, in fact, probably a few years before then, so I've known Fitz for a great deal of time. Um, I, some early childhood memories of Fitz, including coming around to my dad's farm and shooting up pigeons with a, with a shotgun. The pigeon population never been the same since. Um, Fitz has in, uh, involved all of us doing some ridiculous things, ridiculous runs. And he's very persuasive, as you'll all probably know. Um, Tim Hicks, one of the um, one of the gents that's here today, is the proud owner of about a five or six hundred pound mountain mountain bike. He's had it for about ten years. It's almost new. If anyone would like to go. If I'm honest, I kind of prefer Fitz's family. Um, Barry, Christine, Jinx, and Claire. They're all generally much nicer than Fitz. So I'm sure I'm sure we're all agreeing. Um, I also kind of like to think about the wedding. It was another close friend's wedding that I wasn't invited to. <laughs> um, and I kind of like to think about the story about where he got married and the fact that he was a judge that did the marriage. And I've always thought whether or not it was more like a life sentence for Virginia rather than a happy ceremony. <laughs> but still, um, I, I imagine it was a fantastic day, that although none of us were there. Um, but more importantly, my, my speech is going to be brief. Um, the bride, I'm sure, is beautiful on the day, and she's beautiful today. Um, <laughs> Emily also is beautiful, although she bears no resemblance to Fitz. <laughs> and so at this point, before I introduce the other two 
men that are going to be speaking this evening. If I could all ask you to charge your glasses um, and raise a toast to Fitz and more importantly to Virginia. Yeah. Yeah. To Fitz Virginia. After this, I'm sure they might do. Kempe, um, Kempe. We're going to have a little chat about really, um, possibly, I've known Lee pretty similar to Mike and um, Mark for some time now. Many, 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 many years and uh, we've been through many, many scrapes together and... Um, both sort of, and he's kind of helped me out in many situations, and uh, I'm sure I think I've given him a bit of advice over the years. I don't think he's actually listened to any of it, like he's, like Christine Barry doesn't really listen to anything apart from himself. But um, <laughs> but the bit that I was going to talk about really was probably the influence I think Lee might have had over um, my children. And if you're not quite sure, and if you're the sort of age where you've got your own children, probably the influence he's having over your children at the moment as well, to be honest, yeah? Because it was only a year ago he was here last year. I note that Brancy Castle isn't there this year. And um, Paul Wilson Woodrow was dangled head first, dropped onto the splash mat. Well, he didn't actually hit the splash mat. Paul Woody has had to actually get Wilson to join a judo club since, yeah, just to kind of get the violence out of his system. Sorry? Karate. Karate club, yeah, he's in a dojo. Uh, West Norwich way or something like that, yeah. And um, this, this, this is what's going to happen, really, to be honest, um, with, with our children. And um, and uh, I've been struggling with mine recently, sort of uh, trying to get them encouraged to uh, st study and knuckle down and stuff. And they've been over here, and it all starts out like, who's that scary man? And uh, well, you know, once we move past who that scary man is, it's like, um, oh, come on, Dad, we can get stuck in and we can kind of take him and that. No, no, you can't. Yeah. <laughs> No, no, you can't. And then they kind of get beaten up a little bit, and then it comes back. Daddy, daddy, they hurt me. Yeah, he he hurt me. Yeah, the, the scary man hurt me. Yeah, and um, <laughs> Jimmy Savile. Yeah, they, 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 I mean, he's not a paedophile. I mean, don't worry about that. Yeah, he's just a bit angry sort of type thing. Yeah, and um, yeah, and, and we go through that, and and eventually we sort of uh, come come out the other side, and uh, yeah, and we say actually he's fine. He's he's your uncle Lee, and that's what he's like. And and if you all work really hard and do your homework and do all of your school work and do everything you do, you could live in a house like this too. <laughs> Thank you very much. Yeah, but I'm getting it all in my house. Oh, yeah. 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 Yeah.